Hey everyone, Joshua Nesser. Today we're going to install some Tyree lights on the jail behind us. And I want to talk to you why I've decided to go with the Tyree lights. Um, a lot of people are out there, you buy the Amazon lights and you might have seen videos of me doing like the reward mine and that was an Amazon light. Well, long story short, it provided almost zero light over the stock headlights and was pretty much pointless. Next step was to buy a quality light. And when I do mean quality, I mean Tyree are great lights. They're used in everything from mining to racing. So we want a light that's going to hold up and do the job. Now Tyree is also OEM on Jeeps, which you might not know. So we know we're going to get that quality light and what I'm shooting for is something drastically brighter. So why don't you sit back, stay tuned, and enjoy this video. Well, we're going to install the 1010s on the JL and the 1313s on the CJ. I want, I want that extra light for the CJ because the stuff we do at nighttime, we're going a little faster, a little more severe. Now the JL is used for rock crawling and harder trails, but at the same time, uh, I already have a good base light, which is the LED package, where the CJ has, uh, let's be honest, some weak headlights to start with. I'm looking forward to see what we got. Let's get these things unpacked and we'll go from there. So we're getting these things unpacked and they look actually just absolutely amazing. I'm actually really excited about getting these things installed. So we're going to go ahead and get these things installed in the jail really quick and uh, let's go test them out. Our first step is to figure out where we're going to put the lights. Now, since I already drilled holes for that light bar, I'm going to use that same space. It's pretty simple. Actually, it's the same size bolt hole. So all I'm going to do is take off the light bar, put the new ones on, and then we'll wire it up. So one thing to notice is that the lights have a rubber mount to them, and that is a great thing because what this is going to help out is one, it's going to help the lights stay in position while you're wheeling, and two, it's also going to keep them from coming loose. Plus, if you hit something, they'll easily push out of the way and not break things. That's very important because if you see me on the trail, I have hit a lot of stuff out there. I'm trying to squeeze through certain obstacles, get up large rocks, and I've broken a lot of stuff off the front of the Jeep. So I need something that could be able to move out of the way and not have a problem. All right, so now that we have the lights mounted, we need to wire them up, and I'm gonna use weather pack connectors um, to connect the lights. Now, in most cases, you might go to the onboard switches which you have already on the Jeep. For me, I like to reuse switches I already have, so I'm gonna actually reuse the fog light switch. I'm gonna tap into that. I save the connectors and everything, so I can just plug right into it. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll put a weather pack connector on it, get it all together, and since we're doing to the fog light relay, it actually doesn't provide enough power for these lights. So I'll have to put in a relay really quick for it and run an alternate power source. Nothing too difficult. What I'll do is in another video, I'll actually show you how to do electrical so you can figure out how to do this. Um, we're just gonna use a simple 40 amp relay. We're gonna run a second line and it shouldn't be that difficult at all. Don't forget to make sure you put a fuse as close as you can to the battery just in case something happens. Now since I live in the city, I want to test these lights out the right way. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in the Jeep and head out to the San Rafael Spill in Utah. And that is about as far as I can get away from city lights as I can think of. It's also going to be no moon and they're narrow tight canyons. So I'm actually expecting some uh, good true teller of what these lights are going to do. Uh, I do have high hopes because uh, I've seen these lights before. And I'm expecting these things to basically make daylight out of what is darkness. Um, I can't wait to try them out. Let's get going. Well, we're here. Let's see how they do. So we just got back from the trip and I'm going to say, wow, those things were awesome. These lights, the Tyree lights are even better than I expected. Um, it took night and a day, you know, for two small or relatively small lights, I felt like I had a large light bar. I could see the entire canyon. I was able to actually, I did a couple night runs just to have fun and went pretty fast on some of the washes and was easily able to see a long distance and clearly so I didn't have to worry about seeing something out being surprised on something I couldn't see. Overall, very excited. I can't wait to do the CJ and get him on the CJ next. I mean, it's going to be life-changing. Night runs will no longer be in drive-by braille, but I'll actually be able to see where I'm going. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. I'd like to thank Tyree for the 1010 lights. These are the best lights I've ever had on my Jeep. I'd like you to like, subscribe, and share this video. Comment below. Tell us what lights you're running. And then, 
go on our website, share your trip reports. Show us what you guys are out there doing, what you're having fun with. You know, we are interested. If you ever see us on the trail, say hi to us. Hit us up. Say, hey, can I wheel with you guys? Or in fact, buy us to wheel with you. That's the kind of stuff we love to do. Well, I'm going to head back to camp. Thank you for watching this video. Be safe. Hope to see you on the trail soon.